Hello again, scientists. It's me, the Mighty Fat Man. Uh, gonna build a Van de Graaff generator. That's a gizmo that makes huge static electricity sparks and makes people's hair stand on end. And uh, it's useful in a particle accelerator as well. Uh, very electrical and dangerous. And yet, for some reason, my parents gave me one when I was in the first grade. This is my first shot at making my own Van de Graaff generator, and uh, it might or might not work. You'll see at the end of this video, but I'm going to make a great big one, and I'll show you how it works. Well, here's the theory. You take a big belt made of rubber or silk or glass cloth or mylar, some dielectric. You hook it between two rollers. One roller is made of aluminum, and one roller is made of plastic. Or as long as the two are different materials, that's what's important. And as the uh, dielectric presses against the plastic and removes itself from the plastic, it generates a little bit of a charge, negative on the belt and positive on the roller. Then you have little metal rakes next to the rollers. And on one end, electrons jump from the ground toward the plastic roller. They think they're going to hit it but instead they get caught on the belt and increase its negative charge. There's a similar rake on the, on the far end and the electrons jump off onto that and uh, gather on a big metal science fiction-like ball, which needs to be handmade by Moly. Here's our first shot at getting the whole thing to work using the lathe to spin the belt. Um, and I've got a ground wire next to the globe. The globe should be very negatively charged and the ground wire should be neutral but I could not get a spark to fly do da do da so we knew that rubber and vinyl are used for the belts on Van de Graaff generators um, so we were pretty confident about the belt but but it seemed that something that was staticky should be rubbing against something that's staticky so I started using feel again we used a uh, duster that uses static electricity in its operation and that didn't even cause any hairs to stand up on their ends. So we started looking at the belt and what could be more staticky than saran wrap, static cling wrap and we ran that and still no charge. So we decided we bail out a little bit uh, further and we went to silk which is a known good item for making Van de Graaff generator belts and uh, we duct taped one of mom's silk scarves to the yoga mat and dude that's as far as we got we did not get anything like a spark however Ken's recent video on static electricity and some questions that he answered have informed us that we might do well to use mylar on our next iteration of this or he said a uh, glass cloth like you use in making plexiglass would be a really excellent dielectric and he explained very well how dielectrics and regular conductors work that was something that was confusing to me uh, what what kept confusing me during this project was I didn't have confidence in what was a conductor and what was an insulator because those are ideas that are used in non-static electricity, AC and DC. And Ken explained to us um, that a dielectric has its electrical properties not because something is flowing around in it, there aren't free electrons popping from one place to another, but rather the electrons are just kind of sitting on it, which is weird. And I tried an analogy back at him, and he said, yes, that's an excellent analogy. So I'm very proud of that one. Static electricity is to DC what a sponge full of water is to a pipe full of water. There. See what you can make of that. And make your Van de Graaff generator that works before I make another one. Go. It's the fat man saying... Bzzz.